On this episode of AC Designs Garage, we're laying out the Ghost Bumblebee Stripe on the 1968 Camaro. Coming up.
All right, we're well, fixing to mix the pearl up. This is a SG100 Intercoat Clear, basically like a base coat that don't have any color in it. It mixes two to one. And this is just off of a mixing bank, some old gold pearl that I had. You can buy it online and stuff in little packages and stuff, but it gets uh, one teaspoon per quart. That's what usually the average mix, but I'm only gonna mix a, a half a quart up. So we're gonna take the SG up to the five and then the reducer up to the other five. That'll be our two to one that I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. So I write it down here so y'all can see it. But we're gonna do it, and that way I don't forget it. It's a half teaspoon. Yeah, you can see this stuff just clear. I mean, like I said, it's clear base coat, basically, it always is. here on the two to one. We can watch it as we do. I'll just take my flashlight and shine on, see what kind of coverage we'll get to where we want it. Let's see what that looks like. Make sure we get all these goodies mixed up in here real good. See it right there. That should be ready to spray, so I'm gonna keep mixing on it, get it put in the gun. I'll take you in the booth and we'll start spraying that ghost strike. Bottom 
they put just a little bit more down on this corner. Guys, here at the clear, we're using PPG DCU 2002 and DCX 61 hardener mixes four one to one. So we're gonna take it up to the 888 and get ready to go cover up that ghost pearl stripe in there. So this first mark, we're gonna take up to the eight. That'll be your clear. Second marks your hardener. Get up to the eight on it. Third mark will be your reducer. We're using medium reducer because it's it's 75 degrees in there. So get that mixed up. Ready to go in here. I'll take you guys in here on the first round to clear, and I'm gonna let you see how that that pearl does when we shoot it on there.
They're striped with the bumblebee on there. And she ghosted out good too. It's not too it'll stand out too bad to you. You just throw the light to it. Ain't that cool. just done the front end instead of doing the whole car is in case we have to bury this I think it's gonna sand out pretty good because I don't want to feel a stripe in it we'll, but I put a little extra on so maybe it'll, we can bury it but if we can bury this we're just gonna mask the front of the car off and finish the rest next week but that's that's the reason for just shooting the front so I hope you enjoyed this maybe learn how to do a ghost stripe or I mean you do flames the same way it's just Shoot the thin coat of pearl on it. Don't declare to it, it's not that complicated. You guys can do it pretty simple, but. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to cut it next week and get her buffed. Get it outside, that's where this uh, ghost strike will really come in. But I think it looks good, it's not gonna jump at you if we wanted something subtle and custom. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this little video on how to do ghost stripes and do flames the same way anything like it. But I thought it turned out pretty cool, especially when you throw the light to her. She appears, but it's a neat little trick. You guys can do it pretty simple just with a little bit of pearl and some SG100. So hope you guys give it a try. And make sure you like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and all that good jazz. We'll see you next week. God bless. We gone.